I'm currently taking a class in how to make 2D games in Unity. And for our first real game, they had us uh, do a clone of Arkanoid or Brick Breaker. I called mine Block Destroyer. Um, and so they, you know, asked us to show a video of what we designed for our level design and how we designed the game. And um, the cool thing is they showed us how to make the game play test itself. So um, over here in the game session, I click on auto play enabled and then hit play and the game should play itself. Um, so they had us implement a score and um, this paddle and stuff like that. I did the, this title all by myself and figured out how to make the titles change for every level. It was a medium level challenge after understanding how they use the singleton pattern over here. I kind of wanted the opposite of the singleton pattern over here so that the title would change, not um, carry over from scene to scene. So um, here we go. Here's the computer and I'll speed it up in, uh, once I get it going. So the computer is going to play for me to play test the levels. I'm speeding up to double speed. If I go too fast, the physics gets a little wonky, and then it, it can actually end up not working. So these are blocks that have to be hit twice to be damaged, hence the title up there. Right, these are blocks that have to be hit three times. And during the course, we learned that it's called affordance, where we show them that it's being broken by having it change as it gets hit. Um, things I would like to change uh, going forward, I'm going to lower the volume of the game itself. Um, I think that the game could use um, some more lives. Right now, if you die at any point, you have to start over. And that's no fun when you're going through a game like this. You want to be able to at least have a couple chances to keep going. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is implement power-ups. Those are some of my favorite um, things from Arkanoid or Brick Breaker style games. Hopefully this doesn't continue too long. Sometimes it gets stuck in. There we go. All right. So they also talks about unbreakables, hence the title up there. All right. Um, shrinking the assets. Now that we've introduced the player to every type of brick that we have in the game, Bricks that need to be hit once, bricks that need to be hit twice, bricks that need to be hit three times, and unbreakable blocks. So I did not include any unbreakable blocks in this particular level. I would feel fine about doing it going forward. All right, giant blocks. And the final level. And uh, because we did use serialized field on the score, we can see the score here while we're playing the game to make sure it's increasing the way it should over here on the text file. It's pretty cool, all the stuff that we're learning in this game. I mean, in this class. Almost there. Oh man, don't get another infinite loop. Nope, there we go. That'll break it, hopefully. Oh no. Wow. That yeah, one more. I do know. I always found this to be the most frustrating part. And then game over, play again. So there you go. Alright, thanks for watching.